making sure that Anna gets a lot of that uh, that free farm in uh, the top lane for the Dyer. I don't know, dude. It's very fires and multiple iron branches. And again, you can't just summon the wolves and help them assist with last hitting because you're just going to get them stolen away. Did lane Bob, is he going to go for this Thompson? Oh no! Another solo kill. I'm not sure kill. if you want to be dropping it so quickly. Bob, he's going to go all the way back to base, pick up the uh, the boots of speed and a wind lace just oh, to make sure he can connect on through. Vincenzo's doing a really good job to put some pressure onto Cuckoo to try and zone him away from the Death Prophet, but Cuckoo plays the distance, makes sure the poison attack continues to stack up, and, and now Zephyr's also hunting Vincenzo on the tree line, so T1, they're going to find a double Shows kill. Up. But the damage has been dealt. Palos doesn't have the resources now until the self given over to, to play this lane. It does feel like you need that one point in the living armor. It's real oh, value coming from That's the a team to tell! <laughs> oh my god, thanks to Shinx, that fish is just to allow the Shadow Fiend to, to go out being able to get the kill onto the Shadow Fiend with just the damage component, that it would have been well worth it. Instead, they're going to go for a kill with Zephyr. a full rotation. Oh, this is Bobby the start. back in. He's got the Requiem leveled up. He's going to try and charge up the ultimate and set up for the raise combo. As Bob says, no. Oh, back to the lane. Still... So Palos, he needs to get out a lot more quickly than this. He might be paying with his life. In. It looks like that's going to be the case. Beautifully done from Cuckoo. This joins the Spirit Siphon. Zephyr's going to hold his on. But as long as they keep the poison attack stacking up, and Cuckoo will do just that. Dominating streak for the Viper. To an incredible start. I feel like it's... I don't want to call it selfish, but this is what I was Shadow talking about. Shadow in some trouble as well. Mid lane Thompson gets the kill, gets a reason. He needs to open up the map a little bit. Will Thompson look to make the rotation? He's got the DD rune bottled, and yeah, here we go. He's coming in right on top of Tino. He's just going to buy them some time. Thompson's on the south side of the fissure wall, so we can still move on four for more. Bob's even going to consider about rotating as well with the triple raises. We'll answer the initial trade from Execration in Tier 1, but they've still got to be cautious, though, with Thompson nearby. The force to be reckoned with. A bit of an interesting path from Execration from top to mid. Their side of the map, they're going to look to reclaim. Heavy commitment. They'll run into both supports at the moment. Zephyr's going to be targeted down. Tino with the combos enough to get the kill. And now, meanwhile, to the north, Waimon. Yeah, good luck. This goddamn Enchantress, not an easy person to bring down at all. They're going to need the Fissure to keep up. Looks like Palace instead with the Exo and the Spirit Siphon will do the work. That's what I was talking about before, right? You use the that he would ever need. Did you feel like Execration, like this is a ticking time bomb? Is this more fun? Oh, yeah. I'll hold that thought mid lane, Thompson. The Requiem charge up's gonna be there with the Fissure as well connecting. Vincenzo steps through to the chain control. Is enough to hold Thompson down. All right, so from Execration, he didn't answer to this T2 Tower Siege and well, the backstab, that could be it. Great micro for the Wolves, gonna scout out a lot of the positioning. Look at Vincenzo! Steps to the back line, gets the overgrowth. The control is out, setting up for the Requiem. They've only killed off the Enchanter for the moment, but they'll catch up to multiple heroes as Thompson goes down along with- The T1 with... tower mid previously, so you're not gonna have that multi-shot available. Get the creep! Go, Get the creep! Easy. Oh, we got kills across the map. I'm, I'm watching that. I'm watching that. Bob mid lane. Aegis still for 30 seconds. They're gonna be cautious. Smoke's gonna pop instantly. No one pops detection. Oh, they're just running forward. Bob gets the Requiem. He's gonna try and target down Thompson, but there's no follow up. Finally, Fisher, but where's the damage? Thompson's fine, and Arna shows up. A wave for him in with no hesitation. As Execration, they've gotta get out. They messed up the side of the fire. They committed to heavily. Lane creeps don't do that much. It's actually execration on the offensive for once. Jump in. Ooh. Onto Bob. They're going to try and pull him off. They might be able to do so before the BKP. Bob's out. Thompson gives him a tip as well. He'll get him back for the laning stage. Now with the rest of execration. They're hanging around Arna. Arna's going to be cautious. Shanks is in with the combination. The tank control needs to be perfect, and it is. Execration hit back. They stick around. There we go. <laughs> the reverse tip coming tips. through. He's also got the blink dagger still on Vincenzo. He didn't Another pop the jump previously. Zephyr, we'll see if they can pull up the Death Prophet. Palace is pretty left big. on that Roche timer. This is big. So, yeah, can they find the back line? Can they get the vision down? 
This should be like wrap scouting out isn't out of the ordinary. They see Arno. Oh. They see Arno. They're gonna get the fissure, but instead they'll turn to Marcy. An instant pick off. But Execration, you need more out of this. You pop the shapeshift for it. Tino's gonna charge him. Nullify's oh. there. The threat of the overcoat the of Vincenzo doesn't cast it. So Arna just waveforms in, gets rid of the Dream Protector. And now they've got a sentry as well to Bob's location. Just deny coming through here. Might be the full team coming through though. Thompson, Bob. especially if he gets hit first. Charge up the Requiem from afar. Thompson, they just clip on the fear. They're going to try and blow up the Pogna, but the damage is not there at the moment. Thompson's protected. The D crept out to the north side, and now Bob Good is overgrowth. getting chased out, but a turn into the crit. They'll kill off the Marcy, but they go over, go buying some time, but no shakes. He misses on the Echo Slam. They needed that ultimate, and our T1, they can charge on forward, targeting down Tino with a Lycan. They'll secure the easy kill. Turning to Palos next is going to be Ana. Fisher still on cooldown for the moment. There's always going to be a creep that they have to TP onto as well. So uh -oh. I like the way that T1 are splitting up the map. Can they catch Palos. They will be able to. Oh my god, it was a damage. Oh, that's it. Huh? Uh, SF's coming, coming back. back now. Age is going to expire in 40 seconds. He's going to wait oh, for him into the tree line. Bob! It's a lot of Requiem damage, so get the first slap, but how do you set up for the second? T1, are they going to be in the neighborhood to protect it for the moment? Arna with the respawn, but it's an execration. They're going to go for Cuckoo. The right clicks from Bob, it's not enough to get the life of Cuckoo. And now Bob is battling over to Arna. It looks like the Morphling's winning out for the moment, but under the cover of the Shadow Blade, Bob will be able to get out. Meanwhile, Paulos has killed off Cuckoo, so execration. Beautifully done. They get the Ages and... I mean, they want to pick off Paulos. He is the one that needs to be going down. It wor well worth popping DKBs said. for. Let's see Shanks Shake is pretty important as well. Smoke's gonna pop on Cuckoo Palace. Gets the Exo along with the PKP, but the damage, damage. coming out. Arno just ripping apart the life of the Death Prop, but he doesn't have the armor to stand his ground as is doing too much damage. He'll turn towards the Tree Protector, getting rid of another... Radiance top He's got the detection coming up. Bob's gonna try and backstab the Pogna. A very awkward position from Thompson to play, and we'll see what he's going to be able to do. 1v2. They're able to deal with the decrep. Requiem out. And a big kill for them to find. Moment where they feel like they could push on forward. I mean, for everything that's happening, they haven't actually lost much on that execration side. So 40 oh, seconds left the on that age. They might, oh, they commit the echo for it. Maybe it's going to be the Requiem forward with the respawn. Bob needs to be perfect with the timing. And it looks like he is with the damage. It's not coming fast enough. Arna pops the BKV and just turns it around. They never stood a chance into the Morphling. But maybe off the back of the buyback, T1 needs to respect this. As Vincenzo, though, he doesn't have the overgrowth to work with. It's going to be off the back of Palos just running into the middle. They're going to be cautious, though. Inside the base, waveform in. Shakes with the pushback, but the damage isn't there. Arna's gonna be okay, steps outside the base. They are getting ratted though, T1 need to address this. Tino's going for tier fours. Can they hold him back? That's the question. You wanna try What's and call the fear to the future once again? Wanna commit onto Beautiful. this with, uh, with Bob's life. He is way too valuable, especially with no buyback available. They can get the break onto the Enchantress though. They might be able to take her out really quickly. All right, that's a free kill. can't stick around for too long though. Get the jump in. He's gonna pop PK the bash. Sleep, and now with the bash, it's Bob's in trouble. He pulled back prior. You need to use everything to keep the shadow feet alive, and they've got nothing in the tank. Bob this next fight might very well be the last as Shanks. Can't be giving up the life for free though. Oh, cuckoo. Just not quite there, but that's the uh that's the Aghanim scepter on Shanks. If he wants to buy you it. Can't lose anyone. Really Vincenzo. Oh, he's got a buyback at least. It's an early glyph forced out as well. 30 seconds until the Shadow Fiend's back alive. T1 push incredibly fast, though. Looks falling from Shanks. Oh, man, they're going for the tier fours. Tino's in. Palos, you fought back as well. Palos is in trouble. Arna trying to lock onto his target. One tier four down, through to the next. Dire, they're going to be able to siege much faster than Radiant. The Shadow Fiend won't even have a possibility of respawning. Because look at the damage coming out from T1. It's going to be a miracle if they can hold it on Execration. And even though Shanks finds a double Echo Slam, it is not enough as T1 with the...